We're now on the island of Koh Samui in Thailand. In today's video, we're touring five different beaches on the island to showcase what they have to offer and to take in the scenic views. Our tour here today down in Lamai on Lamai Beach. And already it looks pretty amazing. So we're gonna go find a place to hopefully have a nice breakfast with, with an amazing view. Exactly. We'll take you along. Okay, so we're here at the Pavilion Resort, and I think the name of the restaurant is The Patio. The Patio. So we haven't had uh, breakfast or lunch, so we're gonna have brunch and like just check out this view that we have. Not a bad view for brunch. Uh, so we got ourselves, what, what is your drink, Jan? It's called the Monday Monster. Yes, it's the Monday special. It's um, some vodka, triple sack, and mango and juice, mango. and fresh mangoes on top, and some mint. I got myself just a Singa a beer, which is a local Thai beer, which we really, really enjoy. We've ordered some food. Yes. So and, yeah, these views can't be beat. Yeah, and we have our little sort of checklist of um, things that we look for at a beach, like Jan was mentioning earlier, and we're just gonna let you know um, our thoughts, so you can make an informed decision if you come to Koh Samui, and uh, you'll know what beaches to go to. One thing we've already noted here down in Lamai, there seems to be quite a few just in the short walk we did, quite a few little resorts that yeah. are right on the beach. So um, more of that than definitely what's happening in Fisherman's Village. So if you're looking for a resort that's right on the beach, you might want to check yeah. out Lamai. So far, really nice. All right, we'll get back to you shortly. Okay, folks, we just finished a really awesome lunch. I yeah, really like my no, pad thai I had. It was and amazing. What did you have? You had. Uh, I had. Um, I'm gonna have to check exactly something. Siu. Pad Siu. Yeah, so <laughs> each of our dishes were uh, 220 baht. And uh, Janet had a cocktail, a mango cocktail with vodka, tri uh, triple sec. That was also 220 baht. And I had a Singa uh, beer, which was 100 baht. So you're definitely paying a little more on the beach, but that's sort of normal everywhere you go. Absolutely. And the views were incredible. So as you can see, I've just gone for a little dip. It gradually gets deeper, so it's it's nice that way. It, it's uh, marginally refreshing. The, the sea here in Thailand in April is, I don't know about the rest of the year, but right now it is hot. I would I would say for swimming, it's actually very nice. Very, very walkable. Like it's very yeah. like hard packed, um, very nice to walk. We like to walk the beach, so we find that important. Um, you know, when you're not on too much of an angle or the sand isn't so soft that it's killing your calves and cleanliness. Oh, I think the cleanliness is fantastic. Yeah. There is no garbage anywhere. No. Um, Same yeah. with the water. Um, we see no plastic. It's not there's not plastic or garbage washing up on shore. Cleanliness, yeah, pretty great. Now as far as bathrooms, so we're not sure about public bathrooms. Like we sort of walked both ways a little bit and didn't see any public bathrooms. We're not sure. There could be public washrooms here, so sorry, we can't really comment on that. We can certainly comment that there seems to be a decent amount of uh, bars, yeah. patios, restaurants, and of course you just buy a, a Sprite, a water, anything exactly. really, um, have a seat and you, and you be able to use their wash. And there seems to be, um, not that we can tell, there doesn't seem to be just sen beds and umbrellas for rent, but it does look like once again, if you frequented one of the resorts or the beach bars, you could use one of those if you were, you know, paying for a couple drinks or a snack. There is, I'm gonna call it a moderate amount of salespeople on the beach selling ice cream and sarongs. We have not found not them aggressive, aggressive at no. all in Thailand. So what would you say about the overall vibe? Yeah, so overall vibe. I like it, it's got a good vibe. It, it's like nice and walkable, and like I said, like medium size. It's not huge. It's a like cool little beach town. Yeah, we would definitely come back to this beach. Yeah, I actually, I actually really like Lamont. Yeah. yeah. If Scenery, scenic wise, it's a nice looking yeah. beach. And there are uh, things to do. You can rent sea dues, you can rent the e foil board, which is like the electric hoverboard. Um, there are things um, that, you know, if you're into that, you can do that. 
cool vibe. Pretty laid back, not super party. All right, so now I think, um, so we rented a taxi for a couple hours so we could uh, tour around uh, the different beaches. And I think the next beach we're gonna hit is Crystal Beach. Let's go find our driver and find Crystal Beach. All right. Okay, so we're here at Crystal Beach. So Crystal Beach is literally only like five minutes, not even, up from Lamai Beach. There is a sign here that says toilets. So I'm assuming there's some public toilets over here. We're just gonna wander in through here. We'll show you where we're going and hopefully that gets us down to the beach. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, there's a sign. This is a small beach, but it's beautiful wow. and it's so calm. And you literally feel like you are trespassing as you come through this resort and past this pool, but this seems to be the way. down in the water it's already our favorite beach like it's an amazing beach oh my god like I love like the you know the, the rocks the rock formations that are um, around here it's so clear you can see little fish different we've seen like yeah. four or five different little kinds of fish swimming around it's just so nice I bet in high season this could get overcrowded oh, yeah. it's very limited beach because it's rocks on either side so you just have this little cove easily could get overcrowded cleanliness of the beach i mean it's clean it's very just, clean um okay what else well, um, i guess just walking in the beach again it's not a big beach yeah. uh, but the sand is nice and soft um very easy to walk right near the water's edge it's hard packed which we like but it would literally only take you oh. three minutes to walk the yeah, entire yeah, beach that, so yeah. Maybe the walking of the beach isn't such a big deal here because right. it's not like you would do a long stroll exactly. along. The sand is sort of that powdery white sand as it is once you're in the water. I'm not sure we talked about that at Lamai. Lamai was sort of a mix where it was powdery and then a little bit more coarse um, yeah. as you got up out of the water. Anyway, it was nice sand over extremely hot on the feet. Um, beach clubs and restaurants. So probably, I'm thinking maybe six or eight yeah, uh, restaurants slash clubs. Um, not a lot of, or actually there are no sun beds. Um, so you just gotta, you know, throw your towel on the sand. Uh, there are a couple of little huts at certain um, bars or bars or restaurants kind of thing, but like just not a lot. Yeah, but if you, there's very limited shade. So like we're in a shady spot, but we are like on top of each other for sure because it's yeah. very limited real estate. Beach bars have nice shady areas, but they're just, you're not on the beach. So you're not feet in the sand. Uh, yeah. Scenically, it's spectacular between the rocks and the water, which is so different from anything else we've actually seen here yeah. around the island. And then of course we've got the nice mountainous hills like on either side in this little cove. So um, scenically it's spectacular. Yeah, price wise we did order um, a beer and um, they were 90 baht each. So very typical. So we didn't really talk about this at the other beach and it didn't occur to me until now, but like safety wise and I, we felt like this everywhere on the island, but like our, na our backpack is sitting up there with both of our phones, drone. Um, all our money, the drone, our GoPro, and I'm really not worried. Yeah. Um, and we haven't been worried about stuff like that at all. Well, so, I mean, as far yeah. as just like leading your steps, so you can go have a swim on the beach. Yeah, no absolutely no issues. I have not seen a no. single person selling anything. Okay, so we believe there's one public toilet at least. Uh, when we walk in, you might have seen that. Um, however, all of the restaurants and bars have uh, facilities. So order yourself a water, a Sprite, a Singa, um, and you're good to go. I guess overall vibe. If you like sort of a quiet, smaller beach, there's no there's no activities. So you can't rent a sea -Doo, you will not. I think you can rent some paddle boards and kayaks because it's definitely that type of vibe. Yeah. Um, but you're not gonna get like the active motorized water sports here. Super family friendly because it is so calm for kids. For sure. Yeah, so again, very small. It's just an awesome 
very cool vibe uh, that we would definitely definitely come back to. I feel it's a chill yes, vibe. Very much. Definitely so. not like a party vibe. Really nice chill vibe. Next, we are headed up the coast to Chuang. Chuang. And Chuang is definitely possibly arguably the most popular beach. I think yeah. it's not even arguably. I think it is, it is the most popular beach on Koh Samui. So we're going to go see what all the hype is about. I'm sad to leave Crystal Beach. Are you? I love Crystal Beach. I'd <sighs> love to come back. Oh my lord. But I'm excited for the next one because Chuang is a really cool beach too. Alrighty, let's go check it out. So we're here at Chuang Beach, which might be one of our favorite, possibly. So we're very much on the east side. We're gonna show you on the map where Chuang is. Um, so certainly not a beach where you would get a sunset. The sun will set behind us. Very clean, water spotless. I haven't seen one piece of plastic, a bottle or anything washing up. The beach itself, the sand and everything is super clean. Uh, here it's the powdery white sand. Yep which gets us, I guess, to the walkability because we love a good beach you can walk. But down by the water, really nice and packed, um, you know, relatively level as far as beaches go. And it's a really nice long beach. Yeah. Okay, so as far as swimming here, you can go out quite far and not go over your head. So actually for kids and everything, for swimming, this is great. But this is probably the beach with the most activities. Yeah. We've seen the foil boards, parasailing. There's a bazillion sea dudes out here. A ton, ton of choices for restaurants, bars. Yeah, so on prices, more expensive than the other beach bars we've been to today. So um, each beer was 120 baht. And something we didn't mention, when you're at the beach restaurants or whichever, uh, there is um, a couple of different taxes that you have to pay. And again, I'm not sure what exactly they are. We might put them um, below. Um, however, it might be up to like 17% um, kind of thing. So anyways, just expect that. But if you're ordering street food when you're in town or drinks and all that kind of stuff, it's just basically cash with no tax. For restrooms, we haven't really found any public ones. However, like we've um, said before, uh, buy yourself a water, a Sprite, a beer, and just use the uh, restaurant's facilities. And um, how would you uh, rate the overall vibe, Jen? Okay, overall vibe, I really like it. Sort of known as a party beach. Still very family friend friendly out here at the beach. Yeah, so where, so, where are we heading next? I think we're gonna hit Bangrat Beach. All right, we'll see you there. Bye. All right, so we're here at Bangrat Beach. And... Okay, so we're gonna start right now with overall vibe slash first impressions. There's not much um, of a vibe. There's like really not many people. It smells a little bit like fish. We don't see a lot of like maybe restaurants or bars, so we're gonna take a walk. Fairly, fairly long beach. Um, the sand is, it's a little more coarse. Um, however, we're Definitely gonna- Definitely no beach activity. Well, yeah, there's actually like no one around. So anyways, we're gonna do a little walk. We're gonna figure this out and uh, we'll get back to you in a few. Okay. I think we've made some quick decisions about Bang Rack Beach. So first of all, cleanliness. It's not dirty. No. Um, there's a little bit, the water's a bit murky, but I do see a couple things, like maybe a plastic bag, a little uh, stuff floating in the water. Um, I made an immediate decision. I would not swim here. This, and no one is swimming, so that's sort of an indication. Well, there's um, nobody here, and you saw how busy the other beaches were. Yeah. Like We have enjoyed a sunset closer, down around the corner, closer to Big Buddha. Uh, we'll put that on a map. There's some nice bars um, yeah. to hang out for sunset. There seems to be a pier there where maybe some excursions go out, um, sunset or other like day cruises. Yeah, so we did order uh, two singas, so two beers, and they were 80 baht each, which is so cheap. Uh, yeah, about the cheapest um, that you can find anywhere kind of thing, which is representative of sort of where we are and all that because we paid 120 uh, a couple of beaches ago. Yeah, so there's, um, as far as the restaurants, bars, um, sun beds and umbrellas, 
Um, no. 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 The place we're at is called The Poetry. Um, and like very friendly staff, um, affordable yeah. drinks. However, um, if we talk about the vibe, um, there, no, there is, there is no vibe. Yeah, there's no vibe. So if you like a place with no vibe and you don't really want to swim in the ocean, but you just like to lay in the beach, maybe under the shade on a very quiet beach with nothing else going on, well, then maybe this would be the beach yeah. for you. <laughs> and uh, we're going to head ourselves back to Boput Beach, which will be our final beach, I believe. And Boput Beach is the, um, our, I guess, our beach in Fisherman's Village. All right. See you in Boput Beach. We do recommend taking in a sunset at Bang Rak Beach down by Big Buddha. Sit at the beach or at a beach bar, watch the planes come in and the sun sink over the water. All right, folks, so we're here at Boput Beach in Fisherman's Village, and this is the beach that's literally, I don't know, eight minutes from our condo. This beach is, it is very clean. It is a very coarse, loose sand beach, and we've tried to walk the beach in the morning and it's just yeah it's challenging it, it because it's not hard packed it's very hard to walk in if you like to walk along the beach this is not the beach to do that yeah. um also for swimming um murky water it's uh it looks lovely from a distance but when you go to get in to swim it's actually quite murky and this is the only beach that has frequently, and we can say this because we've been to this beach a little more often, being that this is where we're staying, there's a lot of, I don't know what to call it, but skack. 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 <laughs> like skack floating on the top of the water. Some days it's worse, some days it's very little, today it's very little, but it's still just like, you don't want to put your hair there. in there. You yeah. can just picture all the stuff getting stuck in your hair. There's tons of restaurants. Yeah. Um, and again, we've been here many times. We frequented uh, many different restaurants um, and the restaurants are all really good. Um, any kind of, you know, bars, restaurants on the beach charge a little bit more, but still, um, you know, quite reasonable. Depending on sort of the level of trendiness, bouginess of your beach yeah. bar, you might pay a little bit more, a little bit less. Yeah. Also say the vibe, definitely more kicking at night. Like it's- Oh, it, for sure. Yeah. Um, everybody sort of comes out at night. Still, there's still a lot, you know, enough going on nope. during the day, but it's still a fairly quiet beach. For sure. Much quieter than Chuang, quieter than Lamai. Uh, less activities, for sure. Um, like for washrooms and stuff, there are some public washrooms, but they're not close to the beach. Um, however, again, like we've said in the video, um, just show up to one of these um, restaurants or bars and buy yourself any kind of drink and use their facilities. Oh, I as far as sales then? Zero. More in the evening. In the evening, not a lot. But um, again, like Janet said, in the evening, the vibe um, is actually really good at night. And yeah, at night when more people are out, you're going to see a few vendors, but nothing sure. like you see at Chuang. Okay. And then right. I guess overall vibe. Yeah, so like I really like this beach. Like the, I like the vibe. We really like walking the beach and we can't really walk the beach here, like Jan said earlier. It's something we like doing and you can't do here. So I really love swimming in the ocean and I, I'm not a fan of swimming yeah. here. So uh, so scenery wise, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. And of course it's Fisherman's Village. So there's shops and the tons of restaurants. Our, our whole purpose of this video is not to rate the beaches, but just to give you a snapshot of which, uh, what each beach looks like. And depending on what you're looking for, one of those beaches might suit you well kind of thing, so. Yeah, just to give you a better idea in case you're looking at coming to Koh Samui and you see that there's all these different areas. I mean, obviously we've just covered the beach um, aspect of this. I would say Koh Samui, um, from what we've seen, I mean, everywhere you go, you're getting the restaurants, you'll get the street food, yeah. you'll get the night markets, yeah. you'll get the 7-Elevens, you'll get um, the resorts. So um, for us, we just wanted to do the beaches to give you guys a taste of what that, what that is like. Um, because we might have chosen differently if we knew yeah. um, what the beaches were like before coming. 
I think that's it, I think man. That's it. We're gonna wrap this up. It's been a long day. It's been a <laughs> hot day. It's been a feels like 47 degree day. Yeah. So hope you loved the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. A lot of great things happening on our channel, and uh, we really appreciate everyone watching. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.